The film takes place over the course of Halloween in the fictional town of Warren Valley, Ohio. Its story is told in a non-linear narrative, with characters crossing paths with each other throughout the film. At the center of the story is Sam, a peculiar trick-or-treater dressed in pajamas and a burlap sack, who appears to enforce the rules of Halloween. In the opening scene, Emma and her Halloween-loving husband Henry return home after a celebratory night. Henry takes a rest in his house while Emma begins tearing down the seasonal decorations before the night end, and is murdered by an unseen assailant. Henry discovers her mutilated corpse on display with the decorations hours later. Charlie, an obese vandal who smashes jack-o'-lanterns, is caught stealing candy from an unattended bowl left by his school principal, Stephen Wilkins. Wilkins proceeds to lecture Charlie about the importance of respecting Halloween's many rules and traditions. Charlie begins to projectile vomit, and Wilkins reveals that he spiked the candy with cyanide. While attempting to cover up Charlie's death, he ends up handing out candy to trick-or-treaters, including Sam. Wilkins' work burying Charlie and another child in his backyard is continually interrupted by his young son Billy and his elderly neighbor, Mr. Craig, a scarred recluse whose only company is his dog. Wilkins takes Charlie's severed head indoors so he and Billy can carve a jack-o'-lantern out of it, with Billy seemingly unconcerned if the head is real or not. A group of trick-or-treaters, Macy, Sarah, Chip, and Schrader, meet Rhonda, a Halloween fanatic, said to be a savant. The group travels to a local flooded quarry where Macy recalls the urban legend of the Halloween school bus massacre, which claimed the lives of eight mentally challenged children in a school bus on Halloween. The driver, who had been paid by their worn-out parents to dispose of them, was the only survivor of the crash. The group offers eight jack-o'-lanterns as tribute to the dead children. They then pose as zombies to prank Rhonda, who is terrified. When Schrader defends Rhonda, a jealous Macy ends up kicking one of the lanterns into the quarry, causing the undead massacred children to emerge from the dark water. The group flees, but Rhonda alone escapes, leaving the others to die at the zombie children's hands. She briefly encounters Sam while leaving, and the two exchange a nod of respect. Lori, a self-conscious young woman, arrives in town with her sister Danielle and friends Maria and Janet. They pick up dates, save Lori who wants her first time to be special and declines their invitation for a get-together to enjoy the town festival instead. Lori encounters a hooded serial killer, dressed as a vampire, who attacks her. At a bonfire, Lori's friends witness the man, now severely injured, falling out of a tree and unmask him, revealed to be Wilkins. Lori appears, having decided to join them for this occasion, and the girls transform into werewolves, devouring Wilkins and their deceased dates. Sam witnesses the feast, While Wilkins is burying Charlie's body, Craig scares away children to steal their candy, aided by his dog. Sam breaks into his house, decorating it with Halloween memorabilia. Sam, unmasked as a demonic-looking pumpkin-headed child, attacks Craig. However, when he goes to stab the old man with a broken lollipop, his makeshift blade is thwarted by a chocolate bar that landed on Craig's lap. Satisfied that Craig offered him candy, thus fulfilling a tradition of Halloween, Sam takes his leave from the confused Craig. Photographs in the fireplace reveal Craig to be the bus driver that killed the eight children. Later, Craig begins giving out candy to children before gazing at the neighborhood. He witnesses Rhonda casually pulling her pumpkin cart along. He sees Billy handing out treats to other kids while wearing a costume resembling his father's outfit. He observes Lori, her sister and her friends driving along the road while having a good time. He catches sight of Sam watching Emma and Henry returning home, with him going to exact punishment when Emma blows out a jack-o'-lantern. He returns inside, only to receive a knock on the door. Craig opens it, revealing the resurrected children waiting for him. The final shots of the film show Craig being dismembered, the children having gotten their vengeance. Movie ends in that scene please like share and subscribe.